Now I am going to describe you how you can do intraday trade and positional trade in the pair trading concept using the pair trading concept. In this presentation I will be describing what is pair trade, how you can choose a pair of stock for trading. What are the important statistical parameters you need to study for the pair trade, how you can initiate the position, how you can protect the position and what is the process of exiting the position. So to start with, pair trading is a concept where two correlated stocks are being chosen for the trade with a market neutral approach. That is the concept is behind the pair trade. Suppose if I am choosing ICICI bank and HDFC bank, both are in the private banking sector. They have the close similarity in the business model. So they can form the ideal pair. But it will be unrealistic if I am taking ICC bank with Gujarat Ambuja cement. One is in a cement sector, other is in a banking sector. So they mathematically they may give me one opportunity to trade. However, they are not the ideal pairs. So my point is we must choose the ideal pairs in the same industry for this trade practice. So both the stocks must be from the same industry. If they form a part of a sectoral indices then it is better. Sectoral index if they are one component of that sectoral index then it will be far better. And the stocks must have a close correlation in the business model. And the technical parameters what we are going to follow, the volatility in the annual terms must not differ by 50%. So whenever we are doing some technical studies like their volatility must not differ by 50%. And in the pair whichever is the high volatile stock must be the dominating partner, correlation must be there positive or negative and there should be a spread difference. So all these things are the technical parameters. Then we will go for the statistical or mathematical studies. Wherein we will do the study as per the beta, we will do the study as per the correlation, we will do the study as per specific ratio called Jensen's alpha, sharp ratio and Turner ratio. These three ratios will tell you which stock is costlier and which is cheaper. cheaper. And the beta which is the sensitivity between the two stocks, suppose X and Y are the two stocks, they have the beta suppose 1.2, that means whenever X will move by 1%, Y will change by 1.2%, that is called their sensitivity. So this is every day basis the beta will change, their sensitivity will change. However, it is not compulsory or mandatory for the stocks to obey this beta relationship. So that process of disobeying this beta relationship results the beta decoupling. Beta decoupling. So the concept which you may use for the pair thread is Jensen's alpha, sharp ratio and trainer ratio to know the expensive or cheaperness of the stock beta towards the sensitivity, correlation is towards the relationship between two stocks. So correlation is a value between plus 2, minus 1. So wherever the correlation varies between plus 6018 to 0.75, we say this is a very healthy conditions to initiate the trade. 0.6018 to 0.75. If it is more than this, I will be a little cautious. I will think of hedging the position. Though I will enter the pair trade, but I will think of hedging the position. If my correlation is less than 0.5, then I can think of not entering the trade. So correlation, the relationship's strength, the strength or the power of the relationship, which will guide me towards the trade initiation process. Then we have the second parameter which is associated with the trade initiation process, how we can initiate a trade. 
so trade initiation process can be derived from any of these four any one of these four process one is if the current spread is above or below 2% of mean spread correlation changes from positive to negative correlation increases or decreases by 50% from its previous recorded value or beta shows some decoupling nature any one of these thing if it varies then we can take it so all these things to do manually it is slightly difficult so for that we have developed a fantastic pair trade software wherein the trader need to just select three stocks the way i have selected syndicate bank dena bank and in industrial bank i'll just click on this button of load data which will load the data of these three stocks including their currently traded price then i will be doing the analysis either intraday analysis or positional analysis so once i do this analysis so here i will get all results associated with this i will get the volatility associated with these three stocks i will get their sharp ratio i will get their trainer ratio and jensen alpha and also i will get their beta and alpha values so these are the things i am going to get from this so then also i will be getting their pair analysis what the jensen alpha recommends for this pair what sharp ratio recommends for this pair what trainer ratio recommends for this pair also beta decoupling what it recommends for this pair so all in all i can say you the stock which is having the higher jensen alpha sharp ratio and trainer ratio is expensive as compared to the stock which is having lower jensen alpha lower sharp ratio and lower trainer ratio and beta decoupling also has some values associated with that so every day we see some decoupling will be get created and it will be accumulated till the day when you are going to analyze on that accumulation also we will find out if the net decoupling is having a good value to award us then only we can enter the trade or else not so this is the process of fair trading so i have taken specific readings today i am recording this uh, event on 152 time and uh, of 16th may so i have taken one analysis of same syndicate bank and industrial bank and then a bank at the time of 955 when the industrial bond bank was quoting at 522 syndicate bank was 134 and odd 16th may and it has recommended me for intraday pair trade analysis it has recommended me buy industrial bank and sell syndicate bank this is what it has recommended me and currently i am at 152 once i am just selecting this i have just loaded this data i am just selected this price three stocks loaded this and doing the intraday analysis it is saying me trade is not recommended morning it was there currently the trade at 153 that the trade recommendation saying that no trade is not recommended so let me go back to the screen and see what kind of result i am getting out of that so i am just uh, in the live screen so i am showing you in the live screen so i have entered at 522 and 134 so 522 and 134 so my trade is 522 means i am at no profit no loss at indus impact however 134 minus 132 if i am making 2 rupees cool profit i am making out of this syndicate bank and currently the lot size is 2000 so i am my trade is at a profit of 4000 rupees at 154 and currently i am getting some opportunity in the stocks pair of indusind bank and dena bank so it is telling me buy indusind bank and sell dena bank at this point of time at 154 the first pair what i have initiated at 10 o'clock it has it is at a profit and that time the dena bank and industrial bank pair doesn't have any opportunity it is giving me opportunity now 
and that opportunity is telling me buy dina bank buy the indusind bank and simultaneously sell the dina bank this is what i am getting now so this process of trade is known as the pair trade i'll just summarize what are the things i have done here i have also taken some couple of experiments for 14th may pairing it has given me to buy state bank of india and sell icici bank and i have also taken couple of experiments for the 15th may where in it has told me to buy bank nifty sell axis or buy bank nifty sell icici that was the time so 10 o'clock time it is being taken so this kind of analysis is done using the process of your Janssen's alpha, Sark ratio, Turner ratio, beta decoupling and correlation. And the formula which is associated with the Janssen's alpha, Sark ratio and Turner ratio, you can find out in this order. And also alpha beta formula is also given in this order. So what is the, how we can calculate the alpha and beta here. One month's data is being taken into confidence for doing all these calculations and from this one month's data and current day's price action this tool is going to give you the outcomes. So this process of trading is known as your Johnson's Alpha, Sarf Ratio, Trainer Ratio for cheaper stock and costliest stock identification. Correlation is for relationship establishment, beta decoupling for the sensitivity calculation point of view. And whenever this tool is recommending you to initiate the trade with hedging, the simplest hedging what we can what we can build up is if you are buying a future we must simultaneously buy a put or we can sell a call option also. If we are buying a future we must buy a put option or we can think of selling a call option also. If you are selling a future simultaneously we can buy a call option or we can think of selling a put option also. So either of these things we can do in this order. 